How to downgrade from Mac OS Catalina to Mac OS Mojave without erasing your Macintosh HD data volume. Before starting this video I would like to brief you about what is downgrading process. So please don't go without watching this video. In this video I have tried to show you how to get your data back after downgrading from Catalina, like third party installed apps, Safari bookmarks, files and mails. So please, I recommend you to watch this video till the end. What you need to know before downgrading Mac OS Catalina 10.15 The process of downgrading operating system will need you to erase the startup disk and reinstall Mac OS onto it. When you upgrade to Mac OS 10.15 Catalina, your boot volume will effectively be split into two. Assuming it's the standard internal storage, your existing boot volume will be renamed to Macintosh HD data and a new read-only system volume created and given the name Macintosh HD. However, when your Mac starts up in Catalina, you may won't see the data volume, as it's hidden inside the system volume, in what Apple refers to as a volume group. Your files and data are stored in volume named Macintosh HD data in the finder. Both volumes appear as Macintosh HD. So now I believe that this information sharing with you will be useful for you before starting downgrading process. Let's start this video. From the Apple menu in the corner of your screen, choose about this Mac. You'll see the Mac OS name, such as Mac OS Catalina, followed by its version number of your Mac's operating system appears on the overview tab. Mac OS Catalina now splits the operating system and data files into two volumes, but they should never appear on the desktop. To check these two volumes open disk utility, which is in the utilities folder of your applications folder. Here is the disk utility and open it. Both volumes appear here as Macintosh HD. One is labeled with the volume's name. The new main volume is read-only and contains only operating system files. While the other has data appended to it, your files and data are all stored in this volume. Here are my third-party apps. One is CCleaner and second one is PDF Reader which I had downloaded. It's free. This apps will also found in applications folder. The applications folder is a simple place from which to access and launch applications found in the root directory of the Mac startup drive. This is my data folder which I had saved it on my desktop. And this is my wallpapers folder. Do you see this main volume Macintosh HD which has operating system? In this volume, in users directory then in home directory of current user account, from desktop folder you will get access to all your desktop data. Now let me show you my bookmarks. In the Safari app, this bookmarks I had saved just to show you in the end of the video after downgrading, that how I will get access to my bookmarks. Here is mail app and here are my all mails. You will see in the end of this video, where Mac OS, mail app, stores your emails in case you want to copy your mailboxes after downgrading the Mac OS. Now most important thing to show you that how to access hidden Mac OS library files where your mails and bookmarks are stored by the Safari and Mail apps. It is very much important to unhide library folder before downgrading Mac OS, if in case you want the copy, or, to make backup of bookmarks and mails stored in Mac. Open Finder and head to your home folder. Right click inside this folder. A dialog box displays with the options you can set for your home folder. Select show view options. Check the show library folder box at the bottom of the dialog box. 
The library folder now shows up in your home folder in Finder Windows and the library option becomes permanently available. Scroll down and find Safari folder. Here it is, in which you will find your stored bookmarks. Scroll up and find mail folder. Here it is, in which mail app stores emails. You will need to make copy of this library folder on desktop. Inside the home folder on your Mac is a library folder that stores app specific files and settings, personal settings, and some data. The library folder in your home folder is hidden by default. You can rename it, so that it will be find easily after Mac OS downgrading. I am renaming it to TDV Home Library, so that I can find this folder easily. So this is what all I have shown you my data which is saved on my Mac and their locations, so that after downgrading Mac OS Catalina to Mac OS Mojave which involves erasing main startup volume that is Macintosh HD. You can use your data again which will remain in your Mac in Macintosh HD data volume, without making time machine backup. Now it's time to start downgrading for that connect USB Mac OS Mojave bootable installer to your Mac in a USB port. If you want to know to how to create a USB Mac OS Mojave bootable installer, Find the link in the i button above on right hand side of this video and you can find the link of Mac OS Mojave in description from where you can download same. This is my USB Mac OS Mojave bootable installer. Now, click on the Apple menu in the top left corner of the screen and choose restart from the drop down menu. Next. You need to hold down the option key while your Mac is restarting. You will get the option to choose a startup disk. Choose your bootable drive with Mac OS Mojave from the startup disk options. At the Mac OS Utilities screen, select Disk Utilities. Choose Continue. Now in Disk Utility you will see two volumes under Internal Heading. One is Macintosh HD data and second one is Macintosh HD your main startup volume which has operating system in it. Select Macintosh HD and then click on Erase. Select new Apple file system, APFS and then click on Erase. Confirm the action if prompted and wait until formatting is complete. Once you have wiped out everything, get ready to reinstall Mac OS Mojave on your Mac. Next, close Disk Utility and click Reinstall Mac OS. Choose Continue. Choose Continue, and then agree to the terms when asked. Here you have to select the disk in which Mac OS Mojave will install. Here you are seeing three disks on the screen. Third one is my bootable USB Mac OS Mojave installer. Second one is Macintosh HD data in which your data is saved there. And in number one is Macintosh HD main startup volume which you have to select to install Mac OS Mojave. Reinstallation of Mac OS Mojave will begin and the Mac screen will turn black, showing an Apple logo with a progress bar that indicates roughly how far along the reinstallation process is. When installation has completed, the Mac will boot up as usual with freshly reinstalled Mac OS Mojave system software. You can then log in with your normal user account as usual. First thing is to show you the version of Mac OS Mojave. Finally after downgrading from Mac OS Catalina, 
Mac OS Mojave is installed now. The only thing is left to show you how to restore or where is the data which were in Catalina Mac OS. Let me eject this USB installer first. Click on Finder to open it. Then under Locations, Heading, do you see Volume, Macintosh HD Data? You are seeing only one volume here. Where is our main volume? That is Macintosh HD, in which Mac OS is installed. What you can do here now, from the Finder menu select Preferences. In the Preferences window click on the sidebar button. Check Hard Disks. Do you see a Macintosh HD disk? Icon, is visible now. Click on Applications, above, scroll down, to find, Utilities, open it, again, scroll down, and, find, Disk Utility, to open it. Select and right click on Macintosh HD Data Volume to open in Finder. Open Users folder in which open User TDV folder. Now open desktop folder. Here you will find your all desktop data which were in Catalina Mac OS desktop. Now again select Macintosh HD data volume in which open users folder, open user TDV folder then open library folder, in which you will find your mail and safari data folder. Now to restore your third party downloaded apps, for this, open applications folder. You will get your all apps back which were in Mac OS Catalina. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for interesting tech videos. Please hit the bell icon for notification of my new videos. Also hit the like button and share this video with your friends and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. You can also make requests for new tutorials. See you soon.